Pardon me, would you? I'm looking at this dog right here. You will watch this review fully, you will tell your friends, and you will subscribe as well. What's going on guys and welcome back. As far as my throat goes, I had the procedure, it went well, and I'm still trying to recover, but I was not nearly as bad as I was right when I got out of the surgery. So at least I'm able to do this video for you fully, or at least I hope I am. So let's get into this review. Men in Black was directed by Barry Sonnenfeld, came out back in 1997, and stars Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. And it follows a former police officer and joins a secret organization that polices and monitors extraterrestrial interactions on Earth. This movie was my childhood. I was 10 years old when this came out. And this was one of the movies that I begged my parents to, to let me watch. And at the time, they wouldn't have it. So I had to beg and beg and beg and beg and beg and beg. Finally, they gave in, and I was able to watch it, and I loved it. So let's get into the positive, shall we? Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones were born to play this part. They had great chemistry. Tommy Lee Jones plays Kay, who's the mentor to Will Smith's Jay. And he teaches him all the ropes, all he needs to know. Will Smith plays Jay that tries to get things done. He plays it too cocky that he kind of doesn't think along the way. So Tommy Lee Jones has to like, you know, don't fire your weapon out in the public. So of course, you're going to get that from a newbie from anywhere, especially with Neil or something like that, if Aliens was real. So yeah, they had great chemistry and they had great personas. Great star power. This movie came out, I think, a year after Fresh Prince was done on TV. So Will Smith was already well known. He came from becoming a rapper to doing the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on TV and then to doing movies like Independence Day, Bad Boys, and now this. And he was rising. This was his time to shine. As far as Tommy Jones goes, Sadly, I haven't seen that much come out from him at that time. I have since then. This is like 22 years ago since Men in Black came out. I think he's a really good actor. Never let that confuse you. Just because I hadn't really paid attention to an actor that much doesn't mean I'm phasing him out completely. Tommy Lee Jones, he's the man. He is the man. The story was great. You have all these aliens that's walking around and people aren't supposed to know about it. There's this whole scene in there where Tommy Jones explains to Will Smith's character that a person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. And that's true. Not to offend anybody, but it's true. If you hear anything about aliens being real, really, how are people going to react? A herd of people. They're going to panic. So that's what basically the Men in Black was trying to prevent. These aliens live among us, but this organization keeps it for where you don't remember a thing. You don't need to know that. They keep it under wraps pretty tight. The cinematography and lighting was done really well. Awesome music. I love that Will Smith song, Men in Black. It's my jam. The direction by Barry Sonnenfeld was done perfectly. I can't think of anybody else perfect for the direction or the job that he gave to this project. The only negative I have is the female lead in this, Laurel, played by Linda Fiorentino. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. I felt like she was kind of a waste. Yet she does something at the end that does kind of make up for this. I just felt like her character wasn't that necessary. They, they could have visited her a couple times for like a part of what the plot showed, but then just left her out. My final thoughts, it's a great action flick. If you're into alien films, just as much as if you were into Independence Day, which that's like a completely different film, even though it still involves aliens, this is the movie for you. I'm giving Men in Black an A. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Like, subscribe, get reputized, and share. Tell your friends. I mean, don't make me have to denoralize you again.
Stay tuned for my review for Men in Black 2 and Men in Black 3 leading on to Men in Black International. I'm playing catch up, like I said, this is doing fairly well. It's still there, my problem, but at least I can talk now. So, kudos for that. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Peace to rip out.